Hey everyone, Ian from Eurogamer here. Now today I want to talk to you about a little game I've been playing a lot of and have been quite disappointed by. The game in question is Strafe, a game which I have been looking forward to for about two years now, ever since I Kickstarter backed it back in the day when this trailer was first released. Q trailer. Now, I Kickstarter backed it for about $45, I think, and because of that, I got access to a beta, and also I got the full game when it was released a couple of days ago. But unfortunately for me, the game just really didn't live up to the expectations that I had for it. The expectations that that trailer sold me, which were that it was going to be a throwback game to the 90s shooters that I absolutely loved back in the day when I was a teenager. You know, big, powerful guns, dodging around enemies, big open levels, things that you take for granted with games like Doom and Duke Nukem and... Rise of the Triad, stuff like that. It really did not hit the mark for me. So what follows are five reasons why I believe Strafe failed to do what it set out to. So I think the first thing that Strafe got wrong, and one of the one of the biggest problems with Strafe is the enemies. Now, in Strafe, the enemies all seem to just conga line towards you. They all homing missile towards you. They don't really, there's different types of enemies. I haven't really got that far into the game, I, I still find it very hard, but at least in the Icarus levels, all the enemies just conga line towards you, they home in on you, doesn't matter what type they are, whether they fire projectiles or not, their main aim is to see you and go straight at you in a conga line. Now that poses a problem to specific Doom gameplay where you strafe around enemies because what happens is you go into a room, all the enemies home in on you and then the easiest way to defeat the enemies is to kite them backwards down into tight corridors and just wait until they funnel down into a tight mass and just shoot them. There's none of this stuff that you get in Doom or even the new Doom which has done a really good job of recreating the old school gameplay. And, and that is having enemies stood firing missiles or slow moving fireballs that you can dodge around and, you know, get up behind enemies. They, these enemies in strafe, there's no opportunity to really strafe. They just run straight at you. And so that makes playing the game more just a test of poking your head around the corners, trying to tease enemies out and then running back and waiting rather than being able to go out and do this mad fanciful dance around the enemy shooting them. Now I, I, I know that the majority of the enemies in at least the Icarus missions are these things called gluttons which are melee uh, enemies and that's fine melee enemies running at you that 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 works you know but still it's just this dead homing run that they do which I have a problem with. In Doom they do have melee enemies for instance, let, let's think of the new Doom again, the Pinky Demon. The Pinky Demon will home in at you and it will chase you down, but instead of just following you in this conga line, it will run at you and it will charge and then as it's running towards you, that gives you the option to strafe out the way, it hits a wall, then you can turn around and you can damage it. That doesn't happen in strafe. You try and strafe out the way of enemies coming towards you, they just turn and they follow you. The enemies just do not work towards that vibe, they, they kill it. So the second thing I have a problem with in Strafe is the sound. Now the sound in old school 90s first person shooters is just so meaty and brutal. Now listen, 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 listen to the shotgun from Doom. Okay, now listen to the shotgun from Duke Nukem. Now have a listen to the shotgun from Strafe. See, it's a, it's a little bit underwhelming, isn't it? It just lacks that oomph, that wallop. It's the same with all the guns, the machine guns, just kind of like a feeble pew pew pew. The rail gun, again, it's just like a, a kind of wet splash noise. It misses 
without that brutality that the other weapons in the other games had. A recent game that did it really well that I've been playing a lot of is called Butcher, and even though the weapons are like four pixels big, still the, the oomph behind those weapons, the bang and the, the power behind them, you can really feel it. With Strafe, it just kind of seems like little wet farts coming out the end of your gun. It really is unsatisfying, and it does not capture that feel of brutal, gory 90 shooters at all. I, if, the, if they could do anything, I would definitely say rework, repatch in the sound effects, because the guns just don't feel right at all. And I think part of that is down to the sounds. The other problem I have with the sounds is the fact that a lot of the enemies do not have footsteps. Some of them do. The little things that hang onto the walls and then drop down have these little skittering footsteps. That's cool, you can hear them coming, but things like gluttons, they don't have footsteps. So when they appear out of a, a monster closet and run up behind you, the, the first thing you know about them being behind you is suddenly your damage indicator starts coming up and you're like, what, am I being shot? <laughs> oh shit, someone's behind me hitting me, taking away most of my health without me even realizing. They need some kind of sound effect, even if it's tiny little tippy tappies, something to let you know that there are enemies coming from around you because at the moment, Unless you're facing towards enemies, you've got no idea what's behind you, and that has led to a lot of frustrating deaths for me. The third point, and I think this is something I touched on a little bit earlier, is the fact that the levels in Strafe, at least in Icarus, are just too tight. Other games, like Doom, they do have, you know, these tight corridors occasionally, but most of the time they will open up to these big arenas or at least medium-sized arenas that you can dance around, shoot enemies, jump up and down, you know, really have this strafey type gameplay that a lot of strafes procedurally generated levels just don't allow you to do. Some of that is because, you know, it's easier to kite the enemies down tight corridors than it is to actually go out and attack them head on. But a lot of the time, it's just corridors and tight spaces. There is some verticality to it, but I don't know. I, I felt like the levels in Strafe were a little bit claustrophobic and could do with just widening out a bit, some bigger arenas. It's definitely not like one of the, the biggest criticisms I'd have, but I, yeah, I, I would just like it if the levels were a little less confined and a little bit more spacious. Point four is the difficulty of strafe. Now, a lot of old school shooters are very difficult. They play better on the harder difficulty levels. That's where the tests come in. That's where the brutal, awesome combat comes in. It's where you feel like you're properly dealing damage and fighting to survive. But with strafe, you, you can't choose lower difficulty levels if you want, because the fact is strafe isn't really a 90 shooter strafe is a roguelike with a 90 shooter skin on. And that's a problem for me because it makes the game really, really, really frustrating. The reason it's so difficult is because once a level, you will get a health box on the wall. And sometimes that will only have one piece of food in. Each piece of food is worth 10 HP. And yeah, it's just so sparse that if you lose health, it's really, really hard to get it back. And because of that, it makes you play more conservatively, at least with things like Doom and Duke Nukem, there's health packs everywhere. You know, even if it's like a five plus health or whatever, you have these little health packs dotted around in secret areas that will give you a little bit of a boost. Whereas with Strafe, because it's permadeath, that means you really don't want to risk your health, especially because it's so hard to get back. So that leads you to playing conservatively and then again ruining the point of the game, which is to strafe around and have these mad battles like 90 shooters because you want to last as long as you can. So that means, again, you 
kite enemies backwards down corridors, you run away from fights and poke your head around corners, rather than going out and you know getting into these awesome awesome fights that you, you could do in 90s games. If they had more health packs around, maybe less enemies per level because you get swarms of them and they can get really hard to manage. I don't know, there's, there's got to be a way to tone the difficulty down and make it feel less like a punishing roguelike and more like a, a, 90s, a 90s shooter. Now the final point I want to talk about is the game's crafting system. Now, in theory, a crafting system's a fair idea. What you do in Strafe is you run around, you collect scrap, and then you use machines to convert that scrap into either armor or ammo. The trouble is, because of the procedural nature of the levels, you're constantly collecting scrap but not knowing where you can craft. Sometimes the crafting machine will happen right at the beginning of the level and you won't have enough scrap to get your armor until you're right near the end of the level. That involves a lot of backtracking and it really, really kills the pace of the game which uh, the developers sold as being like a speedy game. There's like par times at the end of each, each level but having these randomly placed crafting benches really just kills the momentum, it kills the pace, and they, they just really, they feel out of place. I'm well up for having crafting stations in the game, but put them at the end of the level or the beginning of the level, so you can spend things at the start and you know get yourself prepped for a level, or you can blow your scrap at the end of the level, so you, again, you're prepared for the next level, but having them appear just randomly somewhere in the middle of the level it can be sometimes be beneficial but most of the time it involves backtracking and again a lot of frustration and pace killing which really again just doesn't suit the vibe that the developers were selling me in that original launch trailer so those are my thoughts on strafe it's not a bad game it's kind of fun it does get very frustrating but my problem is it's not the game that was sold to me in that initial reveal trailer. It's not a throwback to 90s gaming that I wanted. It's a kind of weird roguelike that looks a bit like a 90s shooter, but it really doesn't feel like it. What I wanted and what I, I, I guess quite a lot of the people who backed it wanted was a game like Doom, but with procedurally generated levels. and when you put together the game's weird difficulty levels, the tight corridors, the wet sound, the dumb enemies that just home in on you, it just gives a game that isn't like Doom at all. A, a game that really has kind of disappointed me. I hope that perhaps these things, that I, these criticisms I've mentioned, are easy to patch because there is definitely scope for a really good game in there but at the moment it's not a game that I'd recommend and it's not a game that I really want to go back and play which is what I was hoping a procedural Doom like would be a Doom game that I could go back and play and it feel fresh all the time so yeah uh, if you did back strafe and you've played it please do let me know your thoughts in the comments below perhaps you think i'm being a a, a, a moron you can tell me that in the comments below uh, point out to me what i'm getting wrong please do because maybe you're seeing something that i'm not but uh, yeah either way let me know what you think of strafe in the comments below maybe you didn't back it maybe you bought it on launch day what do you think of it let us know and uh, do like this video if you enjoyed it and perhaps subscribe to Eurogamer for plenty more videos daily. Uh, we got loads of stuff um, that you'll like, I guess. Some of them are on screen right now. Look at them. They're lovely, aren't they? Mm, especially that one there. But that one's a little bit weird. Um, meaty? Meaty rum? What the f-